this afternoon. We're up the tree quickly, but there's already turkeys in the field, so it's time to get situated and get our gear prepped as fast as possible. It's nice to see this flock of turkeys with a couple of wet springs in years past. Population's gotten a little bit lower than what we're used to, but it's nice to see they're already making a comeback. Early in the afternoon, the first deer step out the back end of the food plot. With the gnats and mosquitoes being as bad as they are, this lightweight hoodie is the perfect solution to keep those pesky bugs away from our ears. Looking over the food plot and seeing the amount of deer coming into it, it's become clear this food plot is getting a lot of browse pressure. The Stratton Game Changer 2.0s have done their job of feeding the wildlife all summer long. You can see the other half of the food plot adjacent to our setup has been drilled with the Stratton Legacy Blend. So we've got fresh greens and standing beans, hoping that one of those will do the job of bringing a deer within range. A little later in the evening, I hear Matt say there's more deer coming and it's on his side of the tree, so I knew these deer were already almost in range. Unfortunately, with it being multiple deer, I thought they were both mature does, so I was gonna take the second one but after this doe works her way out into the food plot, I realize the second one is a fawn. And so target shift and we're back on the lead doe. It is dead calm, there's no wind. This deer is relaxed but that can change in a split second. She's 34 yards away, head down, 
slightly quartering away. I look at this shot, it's not very ethical, and I don't have a high success rate. I can put the arrow where I want, but I don't know how she's going to react, so I elect to pass. When it comes to taking a shot at a deer past 20 yards, we always elect to take the shot when their head is up. If their head is down, they're already in a position to where they can load up and move out of the area quicker than if their head's up. The best news I heard all night. Matt said there's another mature doe coming out on that end of the food plot. She's coming in a range fast, so it's time to test the saddle and equipment and see if we can pull it all together. This is the only time we'll take shots at deer with their head down. She's 18 yards to be exact, close enough that she can't react fast enough to get out of the way of our arrow finding its mark. But you'll notice even at 18 yards, her reaction time causes that arrow to hit a little higher on the body than what we originally aimed. Aim at lower third so when a deer reacts, you're still making an ethical shot. side of the food plot we haven't ever hunted. We don't even have a tree stand set up on this food plot, but we knew there was a lot of deer in here. Nine deer? Is that right? Nine deer, yeah. That's crazy for around here. Nine deer. Um, just a great reminder, too, of the importance of always staying on your herd management. We've seen a lot of good properties with Matt and I's work go from good to lower in quality so we're a great to just good because of not staying on top of shooting does we're not going to let that happen on the home turf so even though it's september whatever it is and you think my goodness you went way back into the heart of it we're still going to stay on top of the does so first one of the year and it, and it ran to the truck and it ran to the truck even better First, first successful hunt for Matt Dye. Last two times we've been skunked. So we had to change things up. And we decided to jump in the saddles. And a side note, I'm gonna throw somebody under the bus, so let's back it up. Matt forgot his platform. So He's I'm standing in the office. <laughs> so I'm I'm standing on the top of a step. First experience in the saddles on top of a, a lone wolf stick. So it's got one step and uh, was still able to make it all happen. Awesome.
awesome night in the tree. We had eight turkeys. And that's a blessing in itself just because of the poor hatches we've had. But eight turkeys, nine deer. Worked like a charm. Deer fed right through this little bottleneck on the side of the food plot. And uh, we're hanging in a tree that we've never hunted. Maybe we'll hunt it again, maybe we won't, but it's gonna be all taken down tonight. And uh, I can't say how much. First time we've both been in the saddle. Both time, our first time we've both have been in the saddle. So, great first uh, rendezvous. Probably first of many. Let's go check her out. This is the exact reason why. a little bit longer to get packed up but everything we brought in is now off the tree we're gonna go do this as quickly as possible uh, this is an area that seems to light up late October it's almost the beginning of October try not to put a lot of pressure on the food plots ever but uh, one of the things that we're gonna do is try to track this and get out of here as quickly as quietly and with as little of light needed as possible so you won't see a lot of footage following blood but hopefully you'll see a a deer and us uh, dragging her out pretty soon. Oh my. Well. See where it rubbed. Just like that, like a fish. Yeah. Okay. Well, third hunt of the year for Matt and I. First harvest of the year. First time in the saddles for both of us. And uh, first deer out of this food plot we call Ruby Ridge here on the uh, Prairie Hollow property. Like I said in the tree, our biggest goal with this property is improve the native landscape restore it back to its native woodlands and glades um, but make sure we don't let the herd get out of control we see that too many times where hunting gets great we start focusing on big deer and not keeping the herd in balance and so our biggest goal here is to keep a healthy native landscape and not let something get out of whack and uh, seeing nine deer on one little acre and a half food plot tonight and seeing the amount of browse pressure we've been seeing all summer, we knew it was already time, even though we are two years into managing this property uh, and really trying to restore it, we knew that it's the time's now to start shooting some does. So we did that. Here's the first one. Awesome hunt. Great to have you along, Matt. Absolutely. Fantastic hunt. Let's get her out of here. Good thing is we're not far from the road. She only ran about... 80 yards, maybe. Okay. All right, so here's a little part of our system that's always fun, but not so much fun. Um, a lot of you guys drive trucks. 
over the years, how hauling camera equipment and things got to where I like the uh, SUV. So I've got this Ford Explorer that has had a many a deer thrown on top. Just like this one's getting ready to be, so it's always fun. Oh, I can guarantee you one thing. When Ford designed that rack on top, they didn't design it for that kind of use. 